We are in for a terrific treat tonight, and thank you all for attending. My name is Jonathan Woods, and I'm the President General of the Society of the Cincinnati. A little bit of housekeeping before we get on with the, with the program. Following this, this wonderful bit of entertainment we're about to have, we're going to all come out through this door, head upstairs for a wonderful cocktail hour or so, while, while our team downstairs takes away all these chairs, brings in new chairs, brings in new tables, and sets us up for a wonderful buffet dinner. But so if, if we could quietly and, and, and reasonably, when it's time, leave this room, head upstairs, it would be greatly appreciated by all. I think that's all I have to do for housekeeping. Excellent, okay. Uh, let me take this opportunity to introduce to all of you Dr. Cordell Bragg, who is our history chairman, and, a, and as well as being a wonderful person from, from the, the deep part of Georgia, and, we are, and of which we have a number of representatives, Bill, um, Dr. Chip Bragg. Thank you, Mr. President General. As the stewards of American history, it is our duty as set forth in the institution of the Society of the Cincinnati to perpetuate the remembrance of this vast event. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, to that end, on behalf of the officers and membership of our One Society of Friends, it is my sincere pleasure to welcome you to the 39th George Rogers Clark Lecture. This lecture series, begun in 1975, has featured the country's top historians. We have always prided ourselves on bringing you the best of the very best, and tonight is no exception. Dr. Robert J. Allison is a self-described former college dropout <laughs> and, and traveling chef whose interest in American history was kindled by the books he read. Once he decided to finish school, he hitched a ride with a friend to Boston because, in his words, he knew there were schools there. <laughs> and there were. He was right. Bob received his Ph.D. from Harvard in 1992, and he is currently chairman of the history department at Suffolk University in Boston. He also teaches at the Harvard Extension School, where he finished his undergraduate degree, and he has received accolades from both institutions for his teaching excellence. Bob resides in South Boston, just down the street from Dorchester Heights, with his lovely wife, Phyllis, who he married in 1985. And they have two sons, John and Phil. Instead of reciting a long list of his published works and historical extracurricular activities, of which there are many, let me share with you what his students have said. Amazing what you can find out online these days. <laughs> Professor Allison would rather have you learn than torment you with assignments and tests. He has an extreme passion for history and gives all the cool details that you would never hear elsewhere. He knows everything you could want to know about history and, and Boston. <laughs> But he does not act like he is better than his students at all. And my favorite, I thought this was going to be the worst class ever. <laughs> but it was actually interesting and fun. I'm pleased to say that one thing that differentiates Dr. Allison from most of our Clark lecturers is that in addition to his many academic achievements, he is also one of us, an honorary member of the Massachusetts Society of the Cincinnati. In addition to tonight's program, Bob and Phyllis will be spending the weekend here with us and attending tomorrow night's banquet, and I'm sure we'll all enjoy getting to know them better. Therefore, without further delay, please join me in welcoming to the podium our 2017 George Rogers Clark Lecturer, Dr. Robert J. Allison. Well, thank you very much, Chip, for that wonderful introduction. I'm always nervous when I say, let's hear what his students have to say. <laughs> and, and I never thought I would receive a greater honor 
than I did when I was inducted as an honorary member into the Massachusetts Society of the Cincinnati. And I don't think I did until I received a letter last fall from Chip inviting me to come and deliver the George Rogers Clark Lecture here at Anderson House. So this is really a wonderful institution and a great honor which I treasure.